Hello and welcome back to the Survivorcraft server. I am Shootlike. And in the background you see the Dragon Island in the end where we spawn uh, when we jump into the portal. And as you can see my end way is lit up. It is built. It has this turn in it right here behind me. I'm not completely satisfied with how it turned out, ha! but I'm not going to change it right now. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete, well <laughs> it takes a long time before all is complete, but as you can see here that one is the local storage for the Bravo platform and as we close in here let's actually run a little bit there was the right button you see that the central storage is just up ahead it is not yet safe so what I need to do right now is to first um, well we are going to open two of the platforms that platform and that platform over there uh, are carpets only platforms and we are going to open those this weekend now this weekend coming up which means that this uh, central storage it's not going to be complete but we need to make it safe and yeah we can't have people just strolling casually along wow looking there and suddenly bloop fall down <laughs> into the void <laughs> so we need to make some safety uh, precautions around here and that's what i'm going to do let me take a look up there yes well i am going to start doing that right now oops we are going here let me go up here and take a look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also we need to stop people from falling off here, of course. So that's what I'm going to start. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ah, there we see. Oh, that's a close up. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to start doing now. I'm going to go around, figure out how to make this safe temporarily and then I am going to fill up as much as possible with carpets over there and then we are going to have the grand opening in a couple of days from when this video is released and then I'm going to of course continue working on whoops the other two platforms <music> I am just about to leave non-search, but there is one thing that I need to do before I do that, and that is to check the mail room. This is the guild hall, incorporating the post office, the railway station, and to be frank, when you warp here, you end up approximately around here, facing this way. So. This is the post room, post drop room one and two, and the post where you get your mail is down here. Post collection room one. Let's go in and see. I should have, there it is, my own mailbox at non-search. Let's check it out. Ooh, we have one potion of slow falling. I'm going to grab that one. I have a white tulip. And an orange tulip. And ooh, Mr. Chipster. He has given me a whole shulky box. With at least one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm sorry about my mouse. Let's grab that one. Actually, I don't know if I can. I don't think I am allowed to put it down here. So let's go to my place. And put it down right here. Ooh. 21 spruce logs you know i'm going to really need this because i'm working on my map platform in the end and i'm also working on my ice farm up far far north and i'm going to need all the spruce i can get spruce by mr jipster 
<laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Ah, hope this spruce helps with your map platform walkways so you spend less time chopping trees. That is exactly what this gift is going to help me with, Mr. Gipster. This is perfect. This means I don't have to spend so much time chopping and instead I can go and make some map platform um, work. Let's get out of my house. Uh, it's a bit crowded in there. But hey, yes. Thanks, mister. That's going to help a lot. And now I am going to use these spruce logs to start finishing up my map platforms in the end and the walkways. Ha, thank you. Of course, before I go and fix my map platform walkways, I need a little bit more of glowstone. Well, fix. <laughs> Expand them, I would rather say. And what better time to go into the nether than at sunset and when the moon rises and then the sun has set over there. So, let's go into the nether to get some glowstones. Yeah, this is my northeast outpost and here I have a little nether portal. Which we now are going to take and we are going to end up on the nether side of my northeast outpost. And we are going to go out here to collect a little bit of glowstone. Of course, glowstones are not the only thing that I need. I also need some netherrack. But... In digging out some tunnels to get a lot of netherrack, you also... <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's an opening. And I see glowstones over there. I see a lot of lava. I see a lot of pigmen. I think that this tunnel is <laughs> long enough. And we have to go on the other side and dig a little bit over there as well. Well, well, well. I just think that this tunnel has come to an end as well. Yeah. Well, I have enough netherrack for now anyway, so let's get back up. Netherrack turns into nether brick. Nether brick turns into nether bricks. Nether bricks turn into nether brick slab and nether brick stairs. Nether brick stairs, nether brick slabs, and also some nether brick fences, and some glowstones. Everything can be used to make a nice central storage, together with a few other blocks, of course. But this is very exciting. I have been working on this one, of course, this walkway, the end way as I call it, consists of tons and tons and tons of spruce. And I have spent all the spruce that I was given by Mr. Gipster, because now this goes all the way from the central storage, all the way over there to the Dragon Island. And I have not yet built it up uh, the other side here. Let me get up here. Over this way, uh, it stops where you see it ends over there. But I have connected all my platforms. Um, the only two platforms that have local storage areas right now is the Charlie platform over there. You see it over there. And we have the Bravo platform over here with the local storage there. The Alpha and the Delta platforms will have a much larger local storage because they will be full block platforms. That doesn't mean you are not allowed to use them for carpets only, but it means that it is only the Bravo and the Charlie platforms that are dedicated to 
carpet only map art. These two, the delta and then the alpha will of course also uh, be possible to have only carpets, but there will not be carpets in the local storage. So you will have to come over here to get the carpets. On top here, this will... Oh, there is nothing here right now. <laughs> I haven't filled up anything. That's because I haven't even filled up the local storages with carpets, but this will be filled up with carpets down here on the first... well... <laughs> The void floor <laughs> it's not really any ground in the end here will be the full blocks the central storage of the full blocks and it will be one two three four five chests filled up with different wool types with different um, i believe that this is terracotta yeah and uh, i will also in the middle here have different different blocks. I have not built um, or collected any of those yet. I am going to, but first I am going to now start gathering all the wool necessary to make the carpets to fill up all the local storages over there and over there. And then I will be ready to open the carpet only platforms. And that's going to happen. This Week end. I hope maybe I can even have it a little bit sooner. Um, this episode will of course be out on Wednesday and the following weekend will be the grand opening. But now I am going to go collect some wool. I am also going to put down some carpets up in the central storage upstairs right here and uh, decide where we are going to put them. I have gathered uh, one stack of each type so let's at least get the first four types here uh, because uh, this, there is going to be two of each up here so let's for instance start here for instance yeah black wool all carpets and we are going to put them down like so which means that there is going to be let's take half of it um okay half there and half there like so and i'm going to continue go around and do this for all of the carpet types they are going to be on top here like so And there we go. I have put down the carpets on top to mark which chests have which carpets. So now it should be easy to fill up here as well, even for those that are not familiar with my plans for the area. So now it is ready to be filled up by red carpets, by purple carpets and so forth. Down here, of course, are the full blocks, and yeah, I have not filled up anything. Well, I filled up a little bit, of course, but um, these I have not decided where to what to put yet. Uh, the dirt blocks here are just temporary placeholders. So now, everyone, okay, let's see. Yes, I have my silk touch. Let's pick up you, put you, yes, you are in the right place, and let's go out here. Now, this mm, is what we are going to do now. 
But first, I thought I should go out here a little bit as well and take a look because I have heard that I have gotten a few carpets um, delivered to me out here by Kelvin that wanted to help out a little bit. And that is very much appreciated. Uh, let's see if there is anything. Uh, I can't... Oh! Oh, well, that seems to be a little bit more than I remember. Uh, I can't really tell what kind of colors Kelvin has provided. I am not completely sure. But uh, I know that um, she has provided, I think it is a she, uh, mm, correct me if I'm wrong, okay. Um, but that is good because that means that I have a lot of people that have been helping out with this project. I've had Kunigstan that helped out with the first platform with some design choices and placing down some slabs and... Uh, Discussing with me how to best build it. That was very helpful indeed. Lady Vivian has been putting down a lot of slabs and built up some safety fences around here. Um, uh, so that is good. Mr. Gipster has actually provided a lot of the spruce that I have used to build this endway. So that was very good. It saved me a ton of time uh, chopping down trees. And now Kelvin has started to give me a few carpets and she has promised a few more as well. So that's going to help a lot. I am really grateful for everyone that has been helping out. Unfortunately, I only have two uh, dedicated to carpets only platforms, uh, but I will allow carpets to be used on the non carpet platforms as well if anyone wants to use those. Unfortunately that means that they will have to pick up carpets from the central storage because it will not be carpets in the local storages out there. But that is one of the reasons I have at least six of these and are going to fill up these as well. So that they can in a pinch be used uh, for carpets on those platforms. That one and that one. Now, about that uh, safety fence around down here to make it possible for people to get here without falling into the void. I have another one spawned up here, and this time it is not a skeleton. <laughs> Hello, oh, you are climbing down, are you? Smart, but not smart enough, and I got you. Okay, it seems like we are closing in on the finishing touches of the... Oops, <laughs> there we go. Of the safety fence, and I will ask you all to respect the safety fence when you are visiting here. This is temporary though. I have no intention of having a spruce fence going around there. Well, it doesn't really look that bad now, does it? Um, I will actually have some other stuff there. I will keep the nether bricks. Um, as the base there, but I will build up with different materials, probably make it a wall uh, of some sorts, have some blocks or some other stuff up there, but uh, that is for another day. Uh, for today it is just a precaution, it's a safety fence, you are not supposed to be able to jump up on the fence. No, I don't think I can jump, jump up on the fence. So, unless you come with a potion of, uh, well, what is it called again? The po jumping potion, potion of what? Leaping, I guess? And then I also am going to put temporarily one there. And also one over here. Um, and the reason for this is to 
there we go, to prevent um, Andaman from spawning on them, because they will spawn on any block that they can find, and I don't think that they can spawn on blocks if there is a fence on the block, so I think that that is going to prevent Enderman from spawning. I thought that I had made it Enderman spawn proof over at the local storage areas as well, but I am not completely sure about that. I think that the Enderman can actually spawn on um, the outside here um, along this part uh, and along this part here. On this block I think that the Enderman actually can spawn even though this trapdoor it is placed on this block and lifted up. I have seen an Enderman on here actually after having placed this trapdoor so they may be able to spawn there despite this block being occupied by the trapdoor. I think that is how it works, uh, because I've also seen an Enderman out here. Uh, of course, it is a possibility that um, the two Endermen that I've seen around there actually have been teleporting here from other places, but uh, as there are no other places that they actually can spawn around here, I think. Um, that's why I suspect that they may be able to spawn on that one despite it being occupied by the trapdoor. I don't know. Okay, but that was the safety fence around the central storage and all I need to do right now is to complete filling up with carpets and then we will be able to open this thing up. And I am going to open it this weekend, no matter what. I may not have completely filled up with carpets over at the top of the central storage there, because it takes a lot of while to share sheep, but I will do my very best to at least fill up the local storages, and I hope that with a little help from Kelvin, that has already started to help me a little bit with the carpets, I will be able to fill it up so that on Saturday or Sunday all the carpets at the local storages will be full and most of the carpets hopefully on the central storage will be full. So once that is done this is going to be open for the public and now that we have the safety fence down here, I suddenly realize I should have the safety fence up on top as well. There is always one more thing, isn't it? Not only the safety fence, but I also need some more of these. Oh, <laughs> let me actually take back on these because <laughs> they take up a lot of space. Okay, and let's put the nether bricks back up here, because I don't think I need them anymore. Like so, and let's grab a few of you to make a few more. Mm -hmm. There is always one more, th one, two, three, four, uh, like so, and then let's do this. I am going to have a lot of these anyway, so yeah, I think I'm going to have a lot of these anyway. Come on, hey, 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 come on, what's happening? Can I do this? No? Okay, once again, there we go. That was weird. I don't think I like that. Okay, so yeah, the stained glass paints and stuff, and then we go up here. And I'm going to have to, okay, here I'm going to have to put up these so people don't fall off. And then of course this is possible to get jumped onto, so I have to have double high there. But um, yeah, 
that's it uh, until I have gotten double high there. I will have to do this. And of course I'm going to continue building on this one. But um, yeah, safety first. At least we can't open and then risk having people falling into the void. And that would be a terrible, terrible, terrible place to be. So safety. Of course, if you want, you could just have potion of leaping and stuff, but don't do that. And just to be sure, yes, there we are. I am going to... Ah, there we go. <laughs> good, good. Jump up on this one and then put down one extra all around here. And here we go. Completed! Now! Finally! This should be impossible to jump over. This should be impossible to jump over, yes. Good, good. We have completely uh, made this safe, as safe as you can have it in the end. Of course it is still possible to jump down here, but that is not a jump that will kill you. You will just lose a little bit of health and I'm not going to put up a railing there for now. Also, if you look up at the ceiling here, it looks a little bit weird at the moment. Um, I'm going to fix that, but that is not a priority. Not at all. Uh, the priority now is to get the carpets and then we'll open it this coming weekend. It will probably be open on Saturday. I will make an announcement on the Discord when I have filled up with the carpets. So what I'm going to do now, let me take off this one and do this. This has been Jutlike. Like. The map platforms Bravo and Charlie are now ready to be used this coming weekend after I have gotten enough carpets into the local storages and hopefully a little bit in the central storage as well. So what you're going to see is I am going to have to figure out who has helped me the most and who would like to build map art. And the fact is um, those that are, have helped me the most building this, contributing, and that wants to build map art will have priority when I'm going to decide who is going to be here to build and help me be, uh, going to have access to the platforms first. So I am going to see you next week on the Survivor Craft server where hopefully I will have had time to do something else. But for now, this coming weekend, I will make an announcement on Discord when the map platforms are ready for use. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.